Hi there and welcome back. In your numerical analysis classes, you should have learned about the Simpson method integration. We are now going to look and implement it into Octave. We are going to use the Simpson method to integrate the function 1 over 2 minus x. So the first thing is to write your anonymous function f of x, your pkg load signal, integrate between 0 and 0 0.8 with intervals that are 100, define n into even number of sub interval, divide this interval into n equals sub intervals of length h is equal to b minus a over n. Define the x-axis and then space A, B, which simply means starting from A all the way to B with n plus 1 spacings or columns. Approximate F in each sub-interval. Add the Simpson vectorizing method, which is the same as numerical integration. Run this file, go to command windows and call for the function. I therefore then obtain an error. My Simpson is undefined. So go back, redefine n. If this argument is true, it must show an error. Error odd number of points. Else, n is equals to n minus 1. Divide this interval into n equals sub-intervals for the length of h is equals to b minus a. Divide by n. And you should now obtain your answer. If you run this file, go to your command windows, call for the function, write the function, write the Simpson integration method, you should obtain your answer. So we just use the loop statement. The second option that we have now is to use the quadrature function in Octave for computing a function. So with this one is very simple. All you have to do is just write down the quadrature. Just know that Octave already has the formula imputed for you. So the first thing you have to do is again define your function and then secondly you will therefore then have to define your quadrature which is quad v for Simpson f 0, 0 0.8 and your intervals. If you run this file, you should obtain your answer. So we had two ways to solve the same problem on Octave. So the first one was using a loop statement and the second option was using the quadrature function in Octave. I really hope this makes sense. Thank you so much for watching.